In our larger catechism meditation, we will look at question number 114, which reads as follows. What reasons are next to the third commandment? The answer, the reasons next to the third commandment in these words, the Lord thy God, and for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain, are because he is the Lord and our God. Therefore his name is not to be profaned or any way abused by us, especially because he will be so far from acquitting and sparing the transgressors of this commandment as that he will not suffer them to escape his righteous judgment, albeit many such escape the censures and punishments of men. We now conclude our meditation on the third commandment, the commandment that calls upon us to honor the name of God, to reverence that name, to show uh, that name greatest uh, fear and respect. Here we are provided once more with motivations to keep this commandment. God again continues to look after our hearts and to see that it is not always sufficient simply to give us the bare command. But with that command, he provides motivations to incentivize us, to encourage us, motivate us to love and serve him. We shouldn't need those motivations, but we do. And here the motivations are very uh, intense, rather severe. Uh, they remind us of the wrath of God against those who break this commandment. Certainly, we ought to be among those who honor the name of the Lord because he is the Lord our God. Catechism focuses our attention on that at the very start. This is the Lord who is our God, who is our God by covenant. We are in a relationship with Him which is bounded in love. And therefore, it is incumbent upon us, not only because He is our Creator and the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and therefore uh, should have our worship and adoration, further, He is our Redeemer. He has made a covenant with us and bound himself to us by pledge to save us from our sins. And therefore, we above all people should honor the name of the Lord and not take it in vain. And so there should be every motivation on the part of the Christian to love the Lord, to honor his name, and to see that others also respect that name in all of its many different respects. Not simply in, in the use of the name in terms of language, but also in our understanding of his word, his works, and his name. In every aspect of God's revelation of himself, we should be among those that honor the name of God. But then the commandment reminds us that the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. God does not lightly look over the way we lightly use his name. He takes that very seriously. Uh, we, similarly, would be very upset if somebody began to speak ill of us or malign our reputation. We've seen the effects of that uh, in our political campaign recently. What is the significance of one's name? Well, God is one who preserves the integrity of his name and acts on behalf of his name's sake. He comes to save us on behalf of his name's sake, but he also judges the wicked for his name's sake. And so his name is not to be profaned or made use in a light or common manner. We're not to abuse that name. Uh, and we should be reminded that God will punish the wicked who make use of his name in an improper way. We cannot escape God's judgment on this matter. He takes it very, very seriously. And so we should be very careful to honor the name of God so that we might uh, not come under his wrath. Uh, the Catechism concludes with this note that we may escape the censures and punishments of men in this life. And that much is so true in our culture today when the name of God is so lightly used in many different respects in our news media, in our uh, music, forms of music and so forth, and common speech. And so censures and punishments of men, which ought to go to preserve the name of God, uh, they may not be enforced, but God himself will punish the wicked. 
His punishments or his disciplines begin in this life in certain measures, different fashions and forms. But of course, finally meet their fullest expression in the wrath of God to come. Let us therefore honor the name of our God, because in it we see our Savior who gave himself for us and has clothed us with his righteousness, placing his name on us.